you know, some people can realize a dream within a year or two after they start thinking about it. Um, my dream with motorsport started in 1969. I mean, the end of this year, it'll be 50 years since I went to Kailami. And I'm going to compete in the nine hour of Kailami. It took me 50 years to make this dream come true. I think the dream is always to win. This is a, this is a thing we do for passion. This isn't, this isn't commercially driven. The dream works on a number of levels. It, it's a dream of a South African entered and run car at the Kyle Army 9 hour race, running at an absolute world level against world class teams. The best guys, the best drivers, the best teams, the best cars in the world. And we're going to go out there and we're going to give it a good shot. I loved Kyle Army. Everyone who raced there just loved the place. It was absolute magic. Although it's up high up in the altitude and the cars are down on par, it's, it's very special. You know, without the organizational abilities of uh, Stefan Rattel of the SRO, um, the nine hour of Kailami would not have happened. Um, our friend Toby Fenter from South Africa has bought Kailami. He upgraded it over the last few years. He spent a fortune on that, and South Africa is now ready to get uh, GT racing back. But Stefan Rattel, in 1995, put up the BPR series, and from that, there's actually now an intercontinental global challenge. So that provides the platform that we can go and participate and uh, compete with the 911R. So we're very happy that Stefan has, uh, has gone in that direction, and thank you to him and Toby for putting this on for us. Well, after our shakedown at Silverstone, um, it actually went very well there. Um, Franco and Silvio drove the car. We, we all gave it the green light and uh, we had a meeting with, uh, with Julian of Simpson Motorsport. We shared with him our views as to the car. And the purpose for coming out to Silverstone was that the three of us gets comfortable with uh, the people that we've approached to run the car. And I must tell you that uh, they've made a tremendous contribution. Um, we felt comfortable after that first day and we decided that this is the car that we're going to run. Um, Julian is going to be the chief engineer and uh, our friend Johnny Westbrook is going to, to manage the team. Um, so we came to Donington today to do the final shakedown. And uh, the next time we see this car and we drive the car, it'll be in the week um, just before the Kyle Army 9 hour. So it's really, it's really very important for, for all of our crew to be comfortable in the car and to have, to have done miles in the car. And that's why a shakedown is such, a, such an important thing. Um, what we were working on today with Andre was uh, the etiquette of coming into the pit lane, using the pit limiter, stopping in the box, stopping on the marks, getting in and out of the car as quickly as possible. Um, and he absolutely nailed it. We did three or four goes at it. He picked it up incredibly quickly. and driving like an absolute pro by the end of it so we've, we've absolutely mission accomplished today. I think that the working with, with, with amateur drivers at such a high level it, it's, it's a passion for them. They're playing on a big playing field and being part of that team is a great involvement to me and going forwards I think you know they can do really well it's a nine hour race a lot can happen in nine hours they're locals to the circuit, they, it's their home climate, so they can, they're very accustomed to, this, to the scenario. How important is this dream? My dream with motorsport started in 1969. Um, my father, my late father, took me to Kailami, and we arrived at five o'clock in the afternoon and we stood next to the kink at Kailami just before sunset. And David Piper or Dickie Atwood came past in a Porsche 917. And it was awe-inspiring to me as a young boy. I mean, I, I was just captured. But from that first day in 1969, I'm going to go there. And, and this is the story about motorsport and actually about life, isn't it? That we inspire children. I was inspired by David Piper going to Kailami, racing at the same racetrack where it all started with my friends, and the two Scribantes, 
um, and having this fantastic UK team to support me is really a dream come true. It's a bucket list item. Is it difficult? I think it's going to be bloody difficult. Um, do I think we have got a chance and, um, and we can compete with that platform? Um, I, hope, I hope that we will surprise um, ourselves and, and surprise you know, some of our South African uh, friends and teammates. Um, if we're there at the end, as, uh, as Julian says, who knows? We may just surprise a lot of people. We went back to a sort of revival of the nine-hour race, and uh, and uh, I was in the we were in the paddock, and a young man came over and spoke to my wife, and uh, it was Andre, and um, got on very well with us, and we, we had long chats, and he told us that. You know, he was only about eight years old when he went to the 9-hour race and saw the 917 there, and he's never forgotten it. And uh, ever since, every time we go to South Africa, Andre always comes along and cheers us on. Uh, that's the 9-hour trophy there, that beautiful bronze elephant, Kailam in 1969. It's a beautiful elephant, that. <laughs> I can show you a picture of the car as it won the race. There's, there's a picture, it, it was white, perfect circle sponsors, Coca-Cola on it. This is the Porsche, as it is now. This is the BP green that we use because I was with, with BP. And this is their color green. And most of my cars are this colour. And what, what is the colour recognised as today? Uh, Piper Green. <laughs> my advice to anybody racing in the Niner race would be to practice your pit stops and spend as little time in the pit as possible. Just concentrate on your refueling and uh, wheel changing and brake pad changing if necessary. Well, best of luck to the Perfect Circle team at Kyle Army in November 2019.